Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the random web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. You're about to experience the largest tasting of low carb barbecue sauce probably in the world. Stay tuned. All right guys, low carb barbecue sauce. I reached out to you via social media and asked you to tell me your favorites. And I have uh, searched high and low and we are testing 12 different low carb keto or paleo barbecue sauces. Um, if you remember the ketchup battle um, from the past, I'll, I'll put a link up here on the side. Um, my best friend Andy, um, who is a super taster, wink wink, um, he joined me for that and he's gonna do the same today. So Andy, uh, wait a minute, you're on the wrong side. Hold on, ready? One, two, ah, that's better. All right, welcome back. Great to be here, absolutely. So I have searched high and low, like I said, for low carb keto or paleo or sugar-free barbecue sauces. As you know, it's taken like, what, three weeks. I've oh, been wow. ordering, ordering, visiting every store, and I think I've got most everything that you guys submitted, plus a few extras. What we're gonna do is taste these with a, a kosher hot dog, just so we have something to gnaw right. on, um, and they're not just eating spoonfuls of barbecue sauce, right? Um, so as you can see below, we've got 12 of these boogers and what we're going to do is taste them individually and rather than trying to rank these 1 to 12, we're just going to put them for now in a column of not so great, pretty good, and really good. <laughs> right. So um, let, that's, I think that's just the easiest way to do it. Once we get these divided out, we'll try to pick, pick the best and maybe the worst. Um, just to give you some idea, the, the, what we're tasting will be on the screen for you to see, as well as the serving size and the uh, number of carbs per serving and the price. Now, prices are gonna vary, so don't come after me about prices. I'm giving you the prices that I paid. Uh, I didn't pay for shipping, but I ordered a lot of these through Amazon. So uh, the prices I give you are just the price that I bought them at the time without shipping. Also, I wanna tell you that in, in putting these together, I was really surprised at the portion sizes. I'm learning that a lot of low carb products falsely lower the portion sizes so they can show um, so they can show a lower carb count. Most barbecue sauces and condiments are two tablespoon servings. I mean, that's just the way it is. You look at salad dressings, it's two tablespoons. Ketchup, two tablespoons. Barbecue sauces, almost every single one of them were two tablespoons, except for one or two were one tablespoon servings. One was a teaspoon. One teaspoon serving. Little drop, a little drop, peep. So, um, right, obviously it has a low carb count, uh, but that's a little disingenuous, I think. All right, so let's get started. Um, let's just start with number one. So you reach up there, that top okay. one's number one, and put it here on the plate. Absolutely. And we're going to just test them as they are with a spoon first. Um, I guess first, sorry, mm. I just went by it in for it. Again, what we're tasting is going to be right on the screen here. Um, and we're going to try not to... Uh... What's your dog? Mm. It actually kind of tastes like meat a little bit. It does definitely have an umami... Yeah, savory, super savory. Savory mix in the eye. I don't mind this. At first taste, I would not consider it like a barbecue sauce right off the bat. It almost hints more toward like a, a 57. Oh, a steak sauce. Yeah. Kind of steak mm -hmm. sauce. Well, okay, I guess since we're about we're doing this, we should talk about the fact that these all these sauces constitute a lot of different flavors, meaning like depending on the region you are in is gonna be what you like as barbecue right, sauce. Right. If you're from Texas, you're gonna like a very different barbecue sauce than in North Carolina versus so Kansas City versus Georgia. So we're gonna judge these based on what they are supposed to be. I'm not gonna judge a Carolina mustard sauce right. against a super sticky sweet Georgia barbecue. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna judge them as they are. I agree with you, that kind of feels like a steak sauce. So I'm just gonna try it with a... It's obviously better with a piece of meat. You know, we're well, pretty good. I'm okay with this. Absolutely. Right. By way of, because it's the first one. Right. Well, you're going to put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. So it's in the, hmm, pretty decent column. Yeah. Let's go with number two. I'm already side-eyeing this a little bit. Wow, it just looks Mainly weird. based on color. Okay. We shall see. You're thinking it's mustardy? Well, I don't know, which I love mustard, but. Yeah, this is going to be 12 of these. Hmm. There's mustard there. What do you think? That's a wang for sure. I can see the pepper in it, first of all. 
the black pepper. Mm -hmm. I mean, it ain't bad. No. I will say that of those two, neither one of them really tastes like artificial sweetener, no, which is what don't. I was scared right, of. Right, right, they don't. Because they're, um, I'm going to list the sweeteners as well, the, what each of these are sweetened with. Because it varies from stevia to monk fruit to erythritol to um, nothing. Um, so, again, what's going to happen is every one of these is going to wind up in this They're meeting. all going to be in the center. <laughs> all going to be in the center. So, for now, we're just going to put it over here. Let's make some room because obviously this column's going to be... I kind of... Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you want to put them like that's better than this one? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just to remind myself. Okay. All right, next one. Okay. Let's try this one. This is number three. Uh, you can look on the screen there. You go first. Again, the sight is a little concerning. It looks very thin. Well, none of them look like really, well, some of them do, but none of them look like a, you know, craft, you know, KC Masterpiece traditional grocery store barbecue sauce, which some people might like that they don't look like that. We, oh, your face looks I'm bad. I'm not enjoying this one. Oh, hello, fake. Right, I don't know how to even describe it yet, but it's not on my radar for a barbecue sauce. Oh. Uh. I can tell you now. Nope. No. Hold on. Mmm. Fake. Fake sugar. I can taste that. I don't know if it's it, what if it's artificial. But boy, it tastes like it. There is definitely something off. They're trying too hard to make it sweet. Yeah, I'll never forget the first time I had like a diet soda was I was a kid at my grandmother's and it was when Tab had just okay. came out, the pink can of Tab, which I, don't, I guess they make Tab still, but gosh, at the time it tasted horrifying. And that's the same whang that I get. Mm. Uh, you guys can see down here, you, you, you know what it is. I'm putting it up down there, but we're going to find out later. So definitely in the sad face category. Curious to see what that was. Sad face category. Okay. Number four. All right, you first. You didn't even get enough taste. Just oh, you're a super taster. You don't right. eat that I'm much. Scared right. of it. <laughs> this one doesn't look so bad. That looks like something maybe. I'm, uh, I'm curious of your reaction. Okay. I, I'll admit I like a sweet barbecue sauce. I do. My dad is probably rolling around on the floor, furious at me because he loves a mustardy vinegary sauce, and he makes a great one. I'm a but, huge fan of mustard. Uh, and so I don't mind those, but hmm, this felt almost a little bit back to the steak sauce category for me. But with sugar, sugar, but sugar, or fake sugar, some type of fake sweetener. That was my fear: is that these were just going to be so much like. And I am a. I either love a certain type of fake sweetener, artificial sweetener, excuse me, or I hate it. It's better. That's better with a piece of meat. I'm not enjoying this one. I don't want to put it in the sad face. Well, okay, we'll just leave it in the middle. We'll put it on the, the line. The line. <laughs> Move this over. We don't get this just yet, okay? I, it can cross over to me. It's not terrible. No. As we go, I might move that out the way. Now that looks pretty. This looks like barbecue sauce to me. Commercial. We shall, commercial, barbecue. commercial barbecue sauce. All right, hold on. Number, this is five. See, even the texture is more appealing to me already. Already, You probably see down here what it is, but it feels and looks like... That's good. It's good. Barbecue sauce. That's good. I've seen a lot of that one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This is a smiley face. Smiley face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. Okay, I'm kind of scared of the next one then. Let's do it. Okay. This is number six. <sighs> good stuff. This is like, for some reason, it's going to be spicy. I don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't mind that at all. It doesn't taste super fake. Now, that one certainly does I was didn't. about to say, it's uh, coming after one we really enjoyed, but... Um, I 
don't mind this at all. I'm not offended. Mm -mm. That does not offend me. <laughs> oh. Would you put it in the smiley face category? What if you put it low down on the bottom? Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll split the difference. There you go. So now, I don't know if I mentioned this. These vary in price from $1.66 per bottle to $16.49 a bottle. I put something on Instagram the other day that would show, said, I just spent $110 on barbecue sauce and people thought I meant like on one bottle of barbecue <laughs> sauce. Well, <Wow. laughs> no. $16.49 per bottle felt like $110, right. but literally you're looking at about $130 worth of barbecue sauce just for us to taste this stuff. So we're gonna have a lot of barbecue this summer. Yum. <laughs> All right, so this is number six. We'll put down here what it is. Um, okay, you first. This looks like um, it's water. Yeah, this is so watery. Like super watery. I mean, but that, I mean. Oh, me. Not good. I mean, I don't mind a thin barbecue sauce because a lot of it, you know, you're, you're, right, uh, you're basting it on the grill, you know? It's, right. it's not a, but not with this. Oh, gosh. That may be the worst one. Oh, no. I'm scared to even mm -hmm. have the next. <laughs> Put that at the top of the awful. I think so, too. Gosh, dog. That, that was, was terrible. Rough. I hope that wasn't a sixteen dollar forty nine cent one. Whoo! That was rough. Okay, number seven. That looks like mustard. It's also got a good consistency. I, we didn't even eat that one with the but me. I, no sense. I was ready to move on. <laughs> we're if not we're if nothing but honest. Go ahead. Coat's good. It tastes like a bottle of mustard. I like this because I love mustard. If you do not like mustard, this might not be for you. But I like it. <clears throat> it's mustardy. And also, I inhaled it at the wrong time and it almost choked me to death. That is mustard. That is a... Like, I really enjoy mustard, so this is good for you. If you I do not enjoy mustard. It, I know you don't, so that's why I said that. But It almost tastes like just a yellow mustard. I was about to say, would I consider this a barbecue flavor sauce? A lot of my family would consider that because mm -hmm. a lot of my family likes the thinner, mustard-based, heavy vinegar. I can't taste any artificial sweeteners in that, though. I like this as a sauce. Cool. Just not as a barbecue sauce? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to put it in the middle? Yeah, I think so. On the line there. All right. So this is number nine. Go ahead. Good. <clears throat> Good texture. Yeah. It feels super commercial, super like grocery store brand. You know what I mean? I'm smelling, uh, tasting some artificial sweetener. Big time. Big time blah. I'm gonna taste it with some. Ugh, I gotta get a hold on. Ugh. <laughs> that was rough. It wasn't as bad as the number, the top bad one. No, no. But this is again, it feels like. If you don't like artificial sweetener, you ain't gonna like that one. Mm -mm. I would say, yeah, agreed. Next to worst. Right. <clears throat> All right, hmm. this is number 10, hold on. This is harder than it looks, you know what I mean? That's a lot of barbecue sauce. Oh, okay, dokie. But I'm excited because sauces are a big deal for me. You are a condiment lover, for I'm sure. I'm a condiment lover, and when they're packed full of sugar, that's your, yes. even if you're eating healthy in other avenues, this is what's going to get you. Yep. Generally, and for a two tablespoon serving of a traditional grocery store brand, it's going to be 18, 20, 24 grams of carbs mm. per two tablespoons. All of these we're testing today, well, with the exception of the one that's a teaspoon, um, are within the two, one, two, or three gram carbs per serving. Because you got to count the tomatoes. You know, right. If there right. are tomatoes in there. All right, this is number 10. Mm -hmm. All right, go for it. I love that you smell it. <laughs> um, I see pepper. Yeah. I see prance. There's a bit of an artificial sweetener taste in this one. But. Oh, I'm not as bad for me. I don't mind. Oh, definitely not anywhere close to the other. I would one. say that, okay, some of these are artificial with like sucralose, mm -hmm. and some of them are stevia. I would feel like that is a natural sweetener. And not a sucralose. I could be wrong though. It's down there on the screen. You're seeing what where we can't see right now at the moment. Ooh, okay. 
It's spicy. Not a little spice to it. I like it okay. It's not bad. Yeah. Um, I think I may have actually had... I feel like I'm familiar with this taste. Think so? Yeah, so... Um, All right. Let's put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Or on the, even the line, I would say. The line to good? Yeah. We're running out of space in our board here. We only have two left. I need like a pie chart. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Number 11, I think. Go for it. That also looks like, um, that looks like spaghetti Ooh. sauce. I knew it was happening. Darn. Can't have nothing else. I don't know what that is. Me either. It is not barbecue sauce. Huh. I, I'm not grossed out by it, but I'm grossed out by it. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. I'm, um, um, it does not taste like barbecue sauce. Um, I think that was a foreshadowing. Right. That it was going in the negative column. Yeah. And we'll just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Winning and living. Ta -ta. <laughs> okay. Here's the last one, number 12. <gasps> I need some more. It's got to be better than that one. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. I'm glad they're not all just like in the terrible and we were just like, all right, don't buy any of these. Hello, fake sugar. Definitely. Tab right Cola. Up, right up front. That's a kind artificial of artificial sweetener. It's an insult to Tab Cola, to be honest with you. Okay. No endorsements from Tab today. Mm -hmm. Nope. I'm going to cancel that sponsor check. <laughs> hmm, mm -mm. In the negative? Or at the very least, the bottom of the, of the maybe. Of the maybe. Okay. All right. So what we need to do, okay. We should just move those over then. You think these are good? I mean, con yeah. considering what we got. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we know that those, we're going to put these in order. We're going to taste the worst and the best. Do you think these should move over into the? Yeah, I think so. No, mm -hmm. not that one. Oh, it stays that in the our Oh, uh, right. Scary. Oh, awful one. He's mm -hmm. just sitting there because he, right. somebody can't keep their. Uh, I'm sorry together. All right, so should we start with the worst and then end on the good because I don't want to end on the bad. <laughs> I was going to say, do we really have to retest them? Taste them. Let's just taste these four real quick and put it in and just to come up with the worst. What do we think is the worst? I'm just going to dip in that. We're going to trip it all over here. Just watch it. God. I know for a fact none of those are that bad. None of, they didn't even have sense in testament. That may be the worst sauce I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> I hate to say this. I have a sneaking suspicion that I know who that is. Do you remember the ketchup that we could not stand and went crazy for that looked like red Chinese food yes. sauce? I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> but I have a good strong whiff that that might be... Walden Farms. <gasps> no. Walden Farms don't come for me. <laughs> Uh, and let this it be makes known. Some better sauces. <laughs> this makes some better sauces. People say they like the Walden Farm <laughs> stuff. I do not know how in the world. All right. I mean, is there any need in testing those? No. That is the worst sauce. That is the worst. Sauce. That is the worst sauce in the world. <laughs> Barbecue or not? Okay. Well, on a more fun note, let's Yay. see which is the better, the best one. So um, we think that was the best one, right? Because we put them in order. Yeah, I'm scared to taste it first. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the best one. And you know why? Is it real? There is one real barbecue sauce in I this. I think that's the real barbecue sauce. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I, bet you, ten, I bet you $10 that's um, Sweet Baby Ray's. If it's not, I, whatever, if this is a low carb one, right. I'm buying stock in your company. Right, because, exactly. Or you're lying about it. Okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Are you going to talk about it? <clears throat> Hands up. Hands over your head. We'll be back in one moment. <laughs> no. Um, <clears throat> did you change your mind about it? I may need to retaste that because I just thought you went to 
<laughs> but, um, <clears throat> sorry. I feel like a reaction video. Oh, <laughs> don't cry about it. Um, <clears throat> you need to retest it? Yeah, maybe. Uh, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, there's something in it that does it, that's like an interesting yeah. spice or flavor, you know? We're going to eat a whole pack of hot dogs here doing this. Thanks. There's only one gram of carbs each, but you need the whole pack. Totally not offended by that. Yeah. Would buy that. God, I bet it's the $16 one too. Of course. <clears throat> okay. This is the very mustard one. You love it because you like mustard. I would almost put this in a um, spicy mustard category. As opposed to a barbecue sauce. Right. Almost. Agreed. Talk about Heinz 57. That kind of feels like Heinz 57 to me. All right. That's not bad. I taste a little bit of art of sweetener. It's sweetener. I don't know if it's artificial or natural, but I'm okay with that list. I am too. The only thing I would think if you were definitely wanting barbecue and you did not like mustard at all, I might swap these two. Yeah. <clears throat> we can time like this. Yeah. All right. Let's clear this stuff out of the way and we're going to name what these are. Hold on. We're going to reveal what they were. You already know what they were, but I'm, we're curious about it. Very. So, um, the, worst. the worst in the whole wide world, and this is going to be awkward because I've got to look at the bottom. I've got it written a number on the bottom, is number seven. Refer to my notes. I knew it! Is it Walden, Walden Farms? Farms. Do, uh, what? I do not know how y'all eat this. And stuff. they even call it thick. Thick and spicy. It is That ain't thick. Mm -mm. Nor spicy. Okay, so, yeah, that is horrifying to me. Sorry, Walden Farms. Girl. But, whew, <clears throat> that's a hot mess. Thick and barbecues. Zero calories, two tablespoons of serving, zero net carbs. Ooh, it's coming to talk to me. Um, the sweetener is sucralose. Mm -hmm. However, it was the next, almost the next to cheapest, $3.09. Well, better living through chemicals, uh, I guess, because <laughs> that is made by DuPont. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not Walden Farms. I think it's anyway. The next one, um, look on the bottom there and tell me what that number is. Nine. Nine. Y'all are gonna be mad because I know that this is everybody's I know. favorite. Is it? It's the one that is available in the grocery store. It is G Hughes sugar free barbecue sauce, hickory flavored. Now, I have had this before. I have two actually, I've purchased it. I can taste, I can detect the sweetener in this a mile and a half away. There is so much difference between this and the number one, or, well, okay, we're going to get to that in a minute. Now, granted, it is easy to find. Found this at Walmart. Um, we actually tested two of these. Um, this is the hickory flavored, two tablespoons of serving, 10 calories, two grams of net carbs, and it's sweetened with sucralose. I can tell it. I have used this, and when not comparing to all these others, I was okay with that product, uh, and it's so readily available. But in this testing, it did not perform well. When you, yeah, when you compare it to another one, it's <clears throat> it's difficult. I feel like that would ruin the meat, but that's just between. Right. No, that's just me. All right, look at number the three. Number three. three. <laughs> it's the other GQs. <laughs> uh, we tested two of them. It's the GQs sugar-free honey flavored. Yep. I, I hate to say that because I know so many of you love it, but um, it's three dollars and nine cents. Again, it is two tablespoons, ten calories, two grams of carbs, sucralose. So, bing bang boom. All right. All right. Look under your mess right here and see what this okay. one was. We didn't like that one at all either. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, <laughs> this is very interesting. This is the most expensive one. Of course. This is. I, I paid sixteen dollars and forty nine cents for it. It's in a weird bag that has a lid on it. This is by Guy Gone Keto Barbecue Sauce in Hickory Smoke Flavor. Uh, keto, Paleo, Low Carb, High Fat, and Primal. It has no, no artificial sweeteners, really. Here's one of those. The serving size is one tablespoon. All right, so already it's half the amount. Uh, it's two grams of net carbs and 20 calories. It is sweetened by something called 
Ketose Sweet. K-E-T-O-S-E -E Sweet. Ketose Sweet, which is allulose, monk fruit, and stevia. So, even though it's got three different sweeteners in it, I could taste it. It tasted fake. Tasted all three of them. Tasted <laughs> all every one of them. All right. So, let's go. Let's just keep going. Okay. What are these? <clears throat> these are the okay ones. This is number one. This was um, a very popular one. This is Primal Kitchen. Uh, a lot of people were interested in this. This is their classic barbecue sauce. Um, that's a pretty decent one. I actually would totally be on board with that. There wasn't much of a difference there. All right, this one was mustardy. What is this? Number two. This is Keto Dave's Gourmet Carolina Barbecue Sauce, keto and paleo friendly, it says. However, this is the one that says it's one teaspoon per serving. Okay, um, Keto Dave, that was a little tricky, son. All right, number four is the Simple Girl Country Sweet Barbecue Sauce. I felt pretty good about that. Okay. And this one was the least of our medium ones, and that was number 12. And that is Guy's, this was a very popular one too that a lot of people uh, recommended, Guy's Award-Winning Original Barbecue Sauce. And let's talk about our best ones. And what you want to bet, $10? I already know. That's number five. Sweet Baby Ray's. Yeah, that, so that's not really in the running. What all is it sweetened with? Everything. Oh, God. <laughs> it is high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, pineapple juice concentrate, molasses, and sugar. That is why it's 18 grams of carbs per two tablespoons. <clears throat> and Di delicious. <laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes in a bottle. So no good on that, but this next one, so let's kind of bump him out of the way. Yeah. That's not fair to the rest of them. So this I think is our winner. Okay. And that is number six. This is Alterna Sweets Original Sweet and Smoky Barbecue Sauce. Two tablespoons serving. 25 calories. It's got seven total carbs and four grams of net carbs, and that's because it's sweetened with erythritol. So you can take away those uh, sugars, those, um, I mean, sugar alcohols. So it's also got molasses and stevia in it. A lot of people said that this was their favorite by far, and I gotta agree. Yeah. That was darn yeah. good. That was really good. What was the price? Oh, uh, the price on this one is $11.49. I have, a, <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that if you had like a Whole Foods or something near you, you could probably get it for less than that. But um, yeah, uh, it's pricey, but doggone it was good. Well, I mean, yeah. It was good. It was the best one we had besides Sweet Baby Ray's. Get out of here. <laughs> Baby Ray. All right. And then our tie for the next best um, is just whether you like sweet or mustardy. Let's do the mustardy one first. That's number eight. Which is Primal Chicken, uh, Primal Chicken, Primal Kitchen. Uh, we tried two of those. Their other one appeared right. over here, right at the top of the pretty good. Right. And this is their golden barbecue sauce. That is two tablespoons, 15 calories, two grams of carbs. And again, no added sugars unless you count balsamic vinegar as a sugar. So um, that's, that's a really good option. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> Uh, I would probably choose the sweeter one. And the last one is number 10. And that is, oh, <clears throat> this is an interesting one. This is Historic Lynchburg Gourmet Deli and Grilling Sauce. Diabetic friendly, it says in well. quotes. <laughs> um, one serving of, uh, is a tablespoon. One tablespoon is a serving, so not two. Five calories, one gram of net carbs. And it's sweetened with sucralose and it has actual Jack Daniels, like with a trademark on it. It says Jack Daniels at the bottom of it. So you gotta count, you know, probably wanna count for that. It was also pricey at about $10.45. But those were, that was good. Yeah, it was. So not accepting Sweet Baby Ray's in the, in the um, running. Our favorite by far, Alterna Sweets. Yes. Our least favorite by far, no surprise, Walden Farms. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. Yeah. Sad trombone. So there you have it, folks. Low carb keto barbecue sauce. It can be done, um, and it can cost you a small fortune. So just watch out where you go. Sometimes paying the most is not always the best option. Right. So, all right. Thank you for joining us. Like I say every time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating, and having you along for the journey keeps me on, on track. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you, Andy, for joining us. Thank again. you for having me. Absolutely. We'll maybe do this again with some other condiments um, and see where we go from there. All right, guys.
See you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers. Yay. Want to eat the rest of them hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, what are we going to do with all this barbecue sauce? Like, I ain't got room, room in the refrigerator for it. We're going to take some... I'll take all this side. I'll take from that side. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun.